Another reason that people can't forgive is fear. You might be afraid that if you forgive the person who hurt you, then that person will be in a position to hurt you again. A variation on this is the fear that forgiving someone is rewarding bad behaviour. Now this kind of fear is only common sense because we want to avoid being hurt by someone who has already hurt us. However, as we explore what forgiveness actually is over the next few minutes, I think you'll see that such a fear is not necessary. Forgiveness gives us the freedom to stay and the freedom to walk away. We can forgive and still choose to keep ourselves out of harm's way. The whole situation gets a lot clearer when we unpack reconciliation from forgiveness. Forgiveness and reconciliation are different but related processes. First, let's get clear about what reconciliation is. Reconciliation has to do with whether we want to have an ongoing relationship with them and what that will look like. If we are afraid that they might hurt us again, and especially if they show no remorse, then we might decide it is better not to have anything more to do with them. This is particularly true if they are violent, if they are persistently abusive, or they are simply just not right for us. There might be no good reason to reconcile with such people, and we would need to explore further to see whether this is the case. Therefore, we can make a decision about the relationship separately from our decision about forgiveness. Even if we decide to not have a reconciliation with the person, we might still decide that we want to forgive them and to let go of any resentment and any ill feeling we have towards them. So if reconciliation is about what we decide to do about an ongoing relationship with someone, what is forgiveness? Forgiveness is letting go of wanting to punish. When we are holding on to not forgiving, then usually we want to punish someone. That's what keeps our unforgiving state in place. Of course, the person we might want to punish may be ourselves. This definition, forgiveness is letting go of wanting to punish, is the definition I work with the most. It is usually the one which is most effective. It is effective because usually when a person does not want to accept it as true, more often than not it is because they are angry at someone they believe they should not be angry at and they're wanting to punish someone they believe they should not want to punish. For example, maybe you grew up in a culture where you must always respect your parents. If so, that would make it really hard for you to accept any ways in which you feel angry at your parents. If you don't accept this anger, it can get in the way of you being able to forgive. If you really object to this definition for some reason, try another definition like forgiveness is letting go of suffering. However, for our purposes here, I'll stick with forgiveness is letting go of wanting to punish. A wonderful thing about this definition of forgiveness is that it's completely unconditional. They can be living or dead. We can let go of wanting to punish them. We might want to reconcile with them or we might not want to reconcile with them. We can let go of wanting to punish them. They might have apologised or they might not have apologised. We can let go of wanting to punish them. Our forgiving them has nothing to do with them. It is our business and it is not their business at all. When we can see forgiveness as completely unconditional and is distinct from reconciliation, we are always free to forgive, or not, as we choose. We don't need to hold back from forgiveness out of the fear that the person will hurt us again. They can only hurt us if we reconcile with them and they have not changed their behaviour. Even if we decide to not have a reconciliation with the person, we might still decide that we want to forgive them. Therefore, we have two distinct choices to make. One choice is to forgive them, which, as I say, is letting go of wanting to punish them. We can always do that, unconditionally. The other choice is whether or not to reconcile with them. Reconciliation may sometimes be conditional, and sometimes it won't happen at all. We may decide, I just don't want anything more to do with them. In some situations, we might decide that we're open to negotiate for a possible reconciliation and might even look at conditions we could put on a possible reconciliation. I call that tough forgiveness. However, it's much better to do some forgiveness work before deciding what to do about a possible reconciliation. And that's so that we're acting out of clarity and compassion and not acting out of being emotionally entangled 
and the toxic relationship or acting out of feeling vengeful towards someone. If we don't do forgiveness work before considering what to do about reconciliation, we might reconcile with them even when it's against our own best interest because we feel guilty for wanting to leave them or we might refuse to reconcile even when it would be in their best interest because we want to punish them. So this is why it's important to do forgiveness work first and then look at the reconciliation because it makes things much clearer about whether reconciliation is a good idea or not and how to go about it. Forgiveness frees us from toxic relationships as it frees us from both guilt and the desire for vengeance. Forgiveness gives us a much wider and wiser view so that we can see what is best in terms of any possible reconciliation.